So when we characterize our bitumen, we're very interested in its low temperature properties and its high temperature properties. So when I say low temperature properties, we're talking about brittle fracture. That's where the bitumen gets so cold that it breaks. In terms of high temperature properties, we're interested in the temperature where it starts to melt. By going to a harder grade of bitumen, all we're doing is increasing the temperature at which it melts and also increasing the temperature at which it becomes brittle. The important thing to note here is that when we use a standard grade of bitumen, we can only manipulate the high temperature properties or the low temperature properties. We can't manipulate them independent of each other. There are ways we can manipulate the high temperature properties and the low temperature properties of the bitumen. And that's through using modifiers. So what I've set up for you here today is a few common modifiers we use in bitumen. So we have the oil, wax and polymer. What you're about to see is a demonstration of the effect that each of these modifiers can have on an 8100 bitumen in terms of its high temperature properties and its low temperature properties. So firstly, the low temperature properties. To demonstrate this, all we need to do is give the samples a whack. In this case, I'm using a mallet, and you can see as we hit each one, it will either fracture or remain intact. So how about we get into it? So if we compare the performance of the bitumen which fractured to the oil, wax and polymer, we can see that the wax also fractured. However, the oil and the polymer did not. So we could say that by adding the oil and the polymer to the bitumen, we improved its low temperature properties. In the case of the wax, uh, we didn't do anything at all. In fact, we probably made its low temperature properties even worse. To demonstrate the effect these modifiers have on the high temperature properties of a bitumen, I've placed them all under a heat lamp. Now as this test progresses, you can actually see some of them starting to melt. So firstly, the bitumen modified with oil is melting the fastest, followed by the bitumen sample. And if you look at the wax and the polymer samples, they haven't melted at all under this heat. So by adding oil, wax or polymer to 8100, we managed to manipulate the high temperature properties and the low temperature properties of our bitumen. In the case of the oil, by adding it to 8100, we improved its low temperature properties, so we made it less susceptible to brittle fracture. But we also made it more likely to melt at high temperature. By adding wax to 8100, we actually made it less likely to melt at the high temperature, so we improved its high temperature properties, but in doing that, we reduced its low temperature properties, so we made it more likely to fracture at low temperatures. By adding polymer to the 8100, we managed to improve both its high temperature properties and its low temperature properties. Now it's less likely to melt and less likely to fracture at cold temperatures.